see what's fits tech talk. Today we're looking at the Sapphire 6950 2 gig model. It's the Flex Edition in Crossfire. That's right, I'm doing something a little bit different. I reviewed the Flex Edition graphics card previously. So click here to watch the review on what this is all about. But essentially, it allows you to have your Ifinity surrounds view of all these monitors without the need of an active display port adapter. Now, the only thing that's different here with this card, like I said, is it, it's that it's a two gig model as opposed to the one gig model. The specifications are very close to the 6970, okay? So if you watch one of my videos on applying the firmware hack, you can make your 6950 uh, from Sapphire into a 6970, okay? And I did that and it worked great. Now the card itself is a little bit larger than the 6870, about two centimeters larger, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. It fits nicely in all the modern cases of today. It's got a nice Sapphire logo at the top. If you can have two of these sticking out there, it's gonna look really nice. Two six pin power connectors. Since you're gonna have this in Crossfire, like, I'm ha like I have here today, um, you're gonna need a good power supply, right? So at least an 850 watt power supply. Here are the Crossfire connectors. Okay, and uh, it's pretty much standard. It's got the fan in the center, which is very nice from uh, Sapphire. That's uh, expected, but we're not going to overclock this. There's no need to overclock a card in Crossfire like this. This is a high-end card. It runs very nice as is. Plus, it will get hot, you know, if you run two of these together. So you don't want to do that. You want to just leave it running at defaults. It's got two DVI outs, as you can see right there. One HDMI in the center and two mini display ports. Now you don't need the active display port adapter. Remember that. Just hook up all your monitors and away you go with your surround view. Okay. Now in the package you've got the HDMI to DVI out in case you've got uh, no, H, um, no HDMI uh, monitor. And you've got also mini display port to regular display port adapter which is good. And uh, in case you've got an old monitor they still ship these out. I can't believe it. A VGA to DVI and also a crossfire connector because we need that for two cards and they threw in an HDMI cable which is great now uh, if you have an older power supply you can use this six pin to Molex which is very nice uh, but again you need to have enough power okay now other than the manuals and the um, CD drivers that's really about it my test system is obviously going to be top-notch it's the Intel Core i5-2500K overclocked to 4.7 GHz on this P67A uh, GD65 MSI motherboard running some excellent memory configuration there and two of the 6950s again in crossfire connection at the defaults. Um, now I did make a video on applying that firmware to uh, hack it basically and run it like a 6970 but you don't really want to do that in this case just run it like that so it stays nice and cool and um, benchmarks are just out of this world as you can see here on 3D Mark Vantage 36,000 is for the GPU score on these uh, AMD cards from Sapphire which are terrific you can see the frames per second there um, nothing touches this really uh, unless you get like maybe two um, GTX 580s and an and SLI or something like that but uh, this is really high-end stuff. You can see that if you have one card, it's basically half uh, the score. Here is the 3D Mark 11 scores. Again, these are practically double uh, the scores that I got when I ran just one of these cards. Okay, so um, no point uh, showing you that review. Just go to it, click on the link here. I'll give it to you so you can watch the review of a single card. Now, here is Cinebench. Cinebench. 11.5 gave me the highest results with this crossfire configuration 95 frames per second that's just awesome I don't think nothing has ever touched that that I've reviewed before so two of these cards together awesome rendering okay if you're looking to do that crisis 2 obviously I've got the latest drivers installed so I have no issues running this in crossfire beautiful smooth hardcore graphics at the highest settings of course maxed out as you would expect when you run um, a rig like this okay now I did run the um, alien visits predator here you can see that uh, I'm getting about hundred and fourteen frames per second on average so obviously that is super high on these um, 
resolutions and settings. Here's the Lost Planet 2. Again, everything on high uh, always because we're trying to you know, show you guys how these cards work. And obviously the ranking on the results is an A um, high score. They're on 82.9 frames per second on average as you can see. So pretty darn good and uh, no complaints for me on that one. If we take this further again with the Haven benchmark just to run the tessellation uh, benchmarks on extreme everything super high settings you can see here again the results are really really high compared to what you would get if you had one card and again click on my other links to see the reviews compared to just one card okay and also I made another review on setting this up with the Ifinity okay so here's the link for that if you're interested so I can't complain this is a terrific setup no problems there definitely recommend it high-end graphics super results and I'd like to thank Sapphire for providing it hope you enjoyed this video and thank you for watching